Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and in this video I'm going to look at the 11 most transferred in players so far for game week 15 and say whether or not I would buy them for my team if the circumstances were right. So the 11 most transferred in players so far are Pope, Trippier, Almiron, Wilson, that's four from Newcastle. So this is the first video I've made where the 15 you cannot have in your team because there's four from one team here. We also have Dallo, Rashford, Castagni, Trossard, De Bruyne, Mitrovic and Jesus. And the way I look at this is there's four ways that you could transfer somebody in. There's where it takes no hit, where it costs you minus four, where you use your wildcard chip or where you'd free hit them in. And for each one of these 11, uh, 11 players, I'm going to say if I'd definitely get them in, if I'd tentatively get them in, tentatively wouldn't get them in or definitely wouldn't. And then I'll try and explain my reasoning behind each one. So starting with Pope, he's 5.3 million at the moment. The next two games, and we only care about two games because of the World Cup when we can change our squad as much as we like to. He's away to Newcastle, or away to Southampton and then home to Chelsea. It's perfectly feasible he get clean sheets in both of those. Chelsea do have problems scoring it seems, as do Southampton. I wouldn't get him in under any circumstances. The reason being there's only two game weeks left and I could buy a cheaper keeper who's got a reasonable chance of getting as many points or more. Plus, you can only have three Newcastle players. And I should think most managers, if they could choose any three Newcastle players at the moment, Pope wouldn't be one of them. It'd probably be Trippier, Almiron and Wilson, the other three we got on the list. If I had Pope, I wouldn't be selling him. But equally, I absolutely would not be buying him at the moment. Trippier from Newcastle at 5.9 million. Obviously the same fixtures as Pope. For no hit, I would potentially take him. The only reason not to, I think, would be if it was too tight for the money and I wanted to use the money elsewhere. For example, supposing I really wanted Wilson or Rashford, but I couldn't get them and Trippier, then maybe I'd look for a cheaper option. But if you can afford him, I think it's worth bringing him in. And he may keep going up in value, in which case, if he doesn't get injured, you're going to want him after game week 16 anyway. So I think he's worth getting in. I would not personally be taking a hit to get Trippier in. It's not worth minus four hit. I think Newcastle have a good chance of getting one or two clean sheets. But for me, it's not worth a minus four. The only way I'd maybe do a minus four would be if I only had two playing defenders for the next two weeks. Then, OK, it's worth taking a hit. But I wouldn't take a hit for him. Worth doing on a wild card chip. Yep, why not? If you're going to mix your whole team up, Trippier is probably somebody you want on there. Another very important reason to have Trippier is he's very highly owned. So if you don't have him and he does quite well, it's going to cost you a lot in the ranking points. I would not free hit him though. If I had a free hit chip, I could make a team up with defenders that would have more chance of scoring, I think, than Trippier this coming game week. Castagna of Leicester. Leicester have been very good recently defensively. He only cost 4.6 million. Away to Everton, away to West Ham. Both these teams can have trouble scoring goals. But I almost certainly would not be bringing him in. I've made it a tentative no because at that price point of 4.6 million that may be freeing up funds elsewhere. Of course he may be getting a clean sheet but I I think there are other defenders you could choose around that price or maybe a little bit more expensive that have probably got more chance of a clean sheet. So I wouldn't bring him in, probably, even if he didn't cost me a hit. I definitely wouldn't take a hit to bring him in. Wild card chip would be no, and a free hit chip would be no. I just think there are better defender choices out there for the last two weeks. Dallow for Man United. Away to Villa and away to Fulham. Man United have also had very good defensive numbers recently. dallow has got very good attacking uh, potential, I'd say. So for no hit, potentially I would bring him in. So he's 0.2 more than Castagna was, but I think he's got more chance of getting more points. So I'd be okay to bring him in for a no hit. I would not take a hit to bring him in. Wild card chip, I'm saying yes. Uh, to make a team going forward is okay. Free hit chip, I'm saying definitely, yeah. Against Aston Villa, Aston Villa are having trouble scoring goals, it seems, at the moment. I know they beat Wolves, I think it was 4-0, but that was Wolves, and Wolves have got major issues at the moment. 
The only slight doubt or issue with Dallo is he's on four yellow cards. So you're risking he's going to get a yellow against Villa and then you have to either do another transfer or play someone off your bench against Fulham. That's the only downside, really, that I see with him. If you're liking this sort of thing, I put this in here to remind me, please do subscribe and then it's nice for me. I can see the number goes up 224 at the moment. The last video like this, there were 214 views, although most of them don't watch it to the end, to be fair. And I got 20 likes. That's nice. Nearly 10% of people watching it liked it. So if you feel like liking it, that'd be very nice. Thank you. Elmeron, midfield, 5.6, Newcastle. Same fixtures as the other Newcastle boys, of course. If he doesn't take a hit, I'd absolutely get him in. For a minus four, tentatively, I would consider getting him in. And I am considering getting him in. My only reservation is my midfield is kind of all right as it is. So I'd have to lose maybe Zaha to get him in. So I'm undecided if it's worth a minus four. A reason to bring him in is his ownership is going up a lot. And if he keeps to do, doing well and you don't have him, it's going to really cost you in the rankings. Wildcard chip, definitely bring him in. Free hit, definitely bring him in. So personally, I'm very, very tempted to bring him in. I've not done it yet. And I don't know that I will do it, but I might do. Chelsea at home doesn't bother me. Newcastle have to be considered to be one of the major teams this year. I would expect Newcastle to beat Chelsea at home. De Bruyne, 12.5 million. Home to Fulham, home to Brentford. Absolutely, I'll bring him in under any circumstances if he fit with your team. Now, the trouble I've got, and I've not got him, is I have three Man City players. None of them are currently midfielders. So the only way I could bring him in realistically that's sensible is if we find out before the deadline that Haaland's injured and will be injured until the World Cup, then I'd probably sell Haaland and bring in De Bruyne and obviously do another transfer for a different striker. But if he fits into your team and you can afford him, I would absolutely bring him in. He could get a load of points the next two weeks. And after a fit Haaland, he's probably the player that's most likely to get a high score. Trossard, 6.9 million. That's Brighton. Away to Wolves and then home to Villa. As I mentioned earlier, Wolves are having major issues at the moment. I would absolutely bring him in if it didn't cost a hit. For a minus four, I'm saying tentative yes, because I am considering bringing him in, but it would cost me a hit. And again, it'd have to be probably for Saar. Yeah, it would. I'd have to take Zaha out in order to get Trossard. And I'm more likely to get Trossard than Almron at the moment. Obviously, things could happen in the news regarding one of them getting injured in training, etc. But I'm heavily tempted to get him in. Wildcard chip, I'd definitely get him in. Free hit, I'd get him in. I just think Trossard's an incredibly talented, good player, playing for a good side against two sides coming up that have got poor defences. It's quite an easy choice, really. Rashford, 6.6 .6 million. Now, I brought him in last week, so I do already have him. Next two fixtures, of course, same as Dello. Away to Villa, away to Fulham. No hit, yes. For a minus four, would I get him? Potentially, tentatively, yes. Depends who I was taking out to get him in. Like, I'd probably swap him for Zaha, okay. And there'd be Saka. If Saka may still be injured, I'd happily take a hit to swap Rashford and Saka around. So, tentative, yes. There'd be certain circumstances, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't take out a Foden if I thought he was playing for Rashford. Wildcard chip, yes. Free hit, yes. I think Rashford, he's been playing very well recently, very attacking. He could easily get a haul in one of the next two games. So I think Rashford is worth having. Mitrovic, Fulham, 6.9 million. Away to Man City, home to Man United. I wouldn't buy him under any circumstances. In fact, I feel so strongly about this. I've already sold him this week for the next player that's coming up. He's an excellent player. He can score against anyone. But for the next two weeks, there's probably the next striker that I'm going to show you. I think he's got more chance of beating Mitrovic's score and probably by more than four points. And that is, of course, Wilson. Seven and a half million. Way to Southampton. Home to Chelsea. If he doesn't cost you a hit and he didn't cost me a hit, who was the free transfer I did. I've already brought him in. I'd consider bringing him in for a hit. The two games he's got coming up, he could get returned in either of them. He's just doing very, very well. The only downside with Wilson is his injury record. He does seem to get injured moderately easily. 
But if he stays fit, absolutely worth having. So wild card, yes. Free hit chip, yes. I'd get him. Jesus, 8 million. Away to Chelsea and then away to Wolves. I would not get him under any circumstances. If I had him, I wouldn't necessarily sell him. But he's on four yellow cards. So if you buy him now, he's away to Chelsea, which isn't an easy fixture. He could get his fifth yellow card. And then you miss him for Wolves anyway. So I think for eight million or less, you should better find three other strikers that are probably a safer bet. So there we have it. For what it's worth, that's my view on what I think about the 11 most transferred in players this game week. Let me know which ones you think I got wrong there. And as I said, I've already made one transfer and I'm tempted to make another one or two. I don't mind taking hits. It cost me minus eight if I bring in Almond and Trossard, but I've not decided yet. Maybe there'll be injury news in the uh, European Games midweek that's going to affect my decision about who I need to change anyway. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.